Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Nikola Rejic. I'm from the Department for Aeronautics from this faculty. Today, I'll present our paper titled as Residual Life Estimation of Damage Structures Exposed to High Pressures and Temperatures. Uh, the main goal of this research was to present the advantages of numerical modeling of, of fatty crack growth uh, in aircraft components under given loading conditions. Uh, the approach involves evaluation of stress intensity factors, path of crack growth predictions, and uh, a fatty life evaluation to the incremental crack extension analysis. Uh, for this approach, uh, uh, ANSYS Workbench has been used with uh, its models. Uh, for example, we use SMART model and the UMA. Uh, the main goal was to find the pairs low coefficients for given track expansion. This paper deals with the damage growth in high pressure uh, turbine cooling holes of the case assembly made of uh, Inconel 7. Uh, one uh, eight. Uh, several marks uh, were made by mistake in the workshop. Uh, so uh, it was made uh, with the non skill use of electrical discharge machining in the workshop, as I said. Uh, in total, nine EDM marks with different dips uh, between 0 0.1 and 2.46 uh, millimeters uh, have been made. Uh, unfortunately, all errors, uh, EDM marks, uh, were tracked after more than uh, 28,100 sorry cycles. Uh, and due to complex shape and the loading conditions, estimation of HVT case uh, is exposed to uh, sorry uh, to credit a real challenge because of its uh, uh, value and. Uh, the goal was to estimate the residual life of the HDT uh, case. Uh, we got the results obtained from the workshop, and uh, that result showed us how to uh, make our investigation. As you can see on this picture, uh, positions of damage areas of HPT case are uh, red colored, and there are nine EDM marks. So uh, since HPT case, as I said, uh, is not repairable, uh, the only method for fixing this issue was uh, to replace it with a new or used one, uh, but uh, it might be pretty expensive. So it was decided to use numerical analysis to estimate pairs coefficients. Uh, after that, uh, we used the numerical models to predict the crack growth from the initial position uh, Renault, based on that uh, obtained from the workshop. As you can see, this uh, we tested on this uh, round, uh, round mark. Uh, ADN marks are of different depths and lengths. Uh, the main proposal from maintains uh, was to analyze uh, two cases. First case was uh, that uh, mark uh, with one millimeter EDM cut with 0 0.1 millimeter crack extension. And second case was the two millimeter EDM cut uh, with uh, 0 0.4 millimeter crack extension. Uh, both of these cases uh, were uh, used in uh, 2800 cycles. Uh, at the beginning, we must uh, form the real geometry. A uh, geometric model uh, was created, uh, and also thermal conditions, as well as initial damage, were added to the model to be uh, totally realistic, like in the uh, real model. So after that, we used intelligent methods. Based numerical analysis was conducted in order to simulate Crack propagation and and you as you can see on the left uh, side we uh, show the initial crack position uh, in two views. Uh, it's surrounded by the red color as you can see. Uh, after that, in this uh, in the second picture in the middle, you can uh, see the final crack length predictions 
force. Uh, and uh, on the right side, you can see how uh, our crack growth uh, simulation uh, in the real model. Uh, so uh, we implemented that uh, on the surface and used to obtain the required Paris conditions. Uh, as I said, as I said uh, earlier, uh, ANSYS Workbench was used for this research, which allowed us to multidisciplinary optimize, opt optimize uh, models uh, based on response surface optimization with the aim of finding candidate points. Uh, that points uh, are ranked based on efficient and uh, which is shown in the paragraph of this slide. Uh, also, uh, we made the uh, uh, purpose of establishing and uh, exploring domain lower and upper boundaries of input parameters. And as you can see on the table, uh, we find initial values and lower and upper uh, boundaries for uh, both constants, C and M. After that, uh, we used initial uh, input results at, uh, at uh, two, 280 cycles and uh, 0 0.4 millimeter crack extension. And for that results, we got the optimized part of Paris coefficients. Uh, we used that, uh, we used that results for uh, estimate uh, for estimating the residual life of HPT case assembly. And as you can see on the left diagram, we show how the uh, number of cycles change uh, the crack extension in millimeters. Uh, so it was really important because uh, workshop uh, tried to find the more, more number of cycles to uh, of working hours of its uh, high pressure turbine. So at the end, uh, we can conclude that the, this technology, uh, especially smart technology, which is implanted, implemented in the ANSYS workbench, was successfully used to simulate these crack rows uh, in, in our HPT structure. Uh, also, this this response surface optimization gave us uh, values of various coefficients, uh, which can be used in case of predicting the crack, uh, the crack extension. And also, it can be used in residual life uh, to obtain the residual life of the component and can be used for estimation of the component's life. Of course, uh, we have drawbacks, as Professor said. Uh, we have uh, problems with the computers and with the time because these uh, approaches are very difficult uh, for computers because we have uh, problems with the meshes and everything. Uh, so these, these uh, results need to have uh, more time, time necessary for analysis, but uh, this is the problem in airspace because airplanes uh, cannot be grounded for a long time. So it was a problem for the companies which are looking for any Unless they have 727. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one wants to be on the ground because they don't man make money for their companies. Okay. Uh, Thank you.